Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. Every bloody time. Dog and me, got a few chores to do. Chickens for a start. Got a couple of new little ones over there. Uh, little sea brights, unfortunately Iggy didn't make it. And uh, yeah, these ones seem keen enough. Anyway, getting on with some other stuff. Hmm, just one. Good little crop of quails coming on. Why, yes, it is a parking meter. Don't ask. This will rot down over the winter months and uh, drain the soil when it rains like hell. Oh. Well, that was exhausting. Let's get out of these and see what's going on in the greenhouse. Um, sorry about the shades. Right in here again. Looks terrible when I squint. Anyway, as you may hear in the background, um, there's a fan going. Uh, it got a bit warm in here, um, possibly because I've taken the reflective cover off the water tank, possibly because, well, the world is getting warmer in case you haven't noticed. So I've had to put an industrial fan down there. Uh, we also got another problem. There's a leak. Well, not so much a leak. Uh, one of the uh, 3D printed spouts broke off, not because it was a crap 3D print, but because yours truly whacked it one. Still, needs replacing, the only one I've got is a factory made. We'd better fit it, eh? Hmm, problem. Um, this and that washer there don't quite fit that hole in there. Uh, we're going to have to have a plan B. So my plan B is this stuff. Self amalgamating or self fusing silicone repair tape. I use this brand, you can use any brand. Sometimes it comes with a clear backing, sometimes with a white backing. Anyway, it's nice soft rubber and it sticks to itself and it fuses solid. And you can use it to make some pretty effective squishy rubber gaskets. The only thing is, you have to remember to stretch it. And that is what encourages it to wrap around itself and produce a lovely seal. And you just tear it off. There you go. Remember kiddies, righty tighty, lefty loosey. The tricky part is remembering which way around it is when you're working upside down and back to front. And as Sod's Law implies, when you fix something, you break something else. I've split the bleeding end cap, haven't I? Oh well. Plan B. Hmm, the apple tree's not doing so well. Might have to get another one. Uh, let's see what else is going on in the garden. The olives uh, look like they're going to do well this year. Also, we've um, we got some pears that the birds have left us. Um, we have some fijoas coming along nicely, and these absolutely enormous quinces. The birds have even left us a few handfuls of grapes. But also, I have a plan. To the uninitiated, it might look like a plastic dustbin, but bear with me on this. 
Here's our dustbin propped up off the ground. What we'll do is we'll put water in the top and drain it back out the bottom and it'll go back into the hydroponics system. Using the pressure from the hydroponic pump, we'll actually spray the water in as fine droplets, which will help it cool. To make it cool even further, we'll use a little fan to blow air down into the droplets. This will cause some of the water to evaporate, cooling it still further. To actually do this, we'll put a pipe down the middle of the dustbin to direct the airflow, and then the air will come back up and out of the lid. We do it this way so that the sun doesn't get inside the dustbin and cause algae to grow rampant in there. Experiment number one. Um, sorry about the pump noise. I need it on. You'll obviously see why in a minute. Got three different kinds of head here. Uh, this one here is designed to produce a 360 degree spray. Um, this one is designed to produce a 180 degree spray. And this one there's this little uh, spinny roundy gadget in here, which uh, distributes water over a wide area and quite a lot of it. So um, let's see how they work. I've got one of the uh, hydroponic tubes here that has a little tap on it. Uh, we use those in the runs. And all I'm going to do is just screw this little sucker into the end there. This is a 360 degree nozzle and we'll turn it on and see what happens. Yeah, well that goes everywhere, but only in like jets. Yeah, that's not terribly useful. Yeah, that comes. By the way, in case you're wondering, yeah, the phone is actually waterproof. Uh, very nice. So why P20 Pro? Love the thing. Anyway. Here we go, there's a little slot in there which the water is coming out, make sure that's not actually pointing at me, and we'll turn it on. Oh yeah, that, that, that's much more like that's uh, that, That's lots of droplets, but we'll need several of those. Right, okay. Now, big one. Get rid of this little fella. Bring in the big guns. There we go, this thing. Now this is going to make me very wet. All right, here we go, and we turn it on. Yeah, not as spectacular as I was hoping. It does make a lot of droplets and it does get a lot of water through though. Hmm, oh, more experimentation required. Well, I hope all our viewers enjoyed that. Hello, Dad. But for now, that's your lot down on Pico Farm.